most of us know about the importance of vaccinating babies and children, but we don't give much thought to preventing disease by vaccinating other age groups, including teenagers, parents and grandparents. There's a misconception that vaccines are something we outgrow. Well, adult immunisation is what I'll be talking about today with my guest, Dr Thomas Breuer, Senior Vice President and Chief Medical Officer for GSK Vaccines. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Thomas, Dr. Breuer, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Thank you. Nice to be here. Now, the term adult vaccination is getting a lot more attention. Why do we need to be immunised once we're older? Let me put this in perspective. In the US, the Centers for Disease Control estimates that more people die from vaccine-preventable diseases than from other diseases like HIV AIDS, breast cancer or car accidents. What I like to get across is that infectious diseases really are a threat and vaccines should be used at all ages. And if we talk about the economic impact that these uh, diseases can have on economies around the world, how big is it? Okay, let me give you two examples. There are good data around flu, so every year people get the flu and the WHO estimates that around three to five million people in the world suffer from flu uh, every year and the economic burden worldwide is estimated around 10 billion. 10 billion per year per season. Another example is zoster or shingles, uh, a disease which impacts the elderly. Again, tens of millions of people suffer from this every year. In the US alone, the economic burden is in the range between 300 and 500 million each year to treat actually people who suffer from shingles. We also hear about life course immunization. So what is this and how does it relate to adult vaccination? Okay, so in your introduction, you talked about that people understand why vaccinating babies or children. We now have talked about vaccinating adults and the elderly, but you can also vaccinate adolescents. Uh, there are new meningitis vaccines out there which you can either give to children or to adolescents. There's the HPV vaccine which you give to girls to prevent uh, cervical cancer and there are even other vaccines which you give to pregnant women to avoid that children, uh, young infants get uh, sick when they are just born. So you vaccinate the mother to protect uh, the child and GSK is developing more vaccines in that area. Now someone cynical could say that you're just trying to sell more products. Is that correct? I have heard this, uh, again to cite uh, WHO and the World Bank who have repeatedly stated that only clean drinking water rivals vaccines uh, to save lives. I think why wouldn't we make the vaccine tool available to all ages? There is no reason that we should only use vaccines in children. How much of a, an awareness or an education campaign do you think is needed to show people how much they need adult vaccination and who needs to be persuaded? Is it individuals? Is it the medical community? Is it governments? I think it's all the above and obviously different things have been used. Uh, I would like to see that more governments recommend adult vaccination. Some countries do it, others uh, don't, so that's an important thing. Then I think we can be much more innovative in how we vaccinate. So vaccinate at the workplace, vaccinate in pharmacies and not just uh, at the doctor. So innovation can play a role. And then the last thing is on aging, policies on aging should change. I think um, People get older, they work longer, they spend more time with their grandchildren and prevention vaccines should be as important as, for example, doing sports or live healthy diets. So what I want to say is, ultimately, we would like to see that vaccines are used like seat belts in cars. You know, you can wear it, uh, you cannot wear it, but why take the risk? Very good note to end on. Well, Thomas, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. And join us next time when we'll be talking about the latest innovations in fintech and in human capital. Bye-bye for now.